New Atlanta, Sector 11, Building 71G, 7 April 2072, 11.13 p.m. Hacker begins unauthorized entry into the Tri-Optimum Corporate Network. 1.26 a.m. Hacker attempts to access protected files concerning Space Station Citadel. 1.33 a.m. Tri-Optimum Security Forces apprehend the intruder. This is Edward Diego from Tri-Optimum. The charges against you are severe, but they could be dismissed if you perform a service. Who knows, there might even be a military-grade neural interface in it for you, if you do the job right. Edward Diego gives the hacker level 1 access to Shodan, the artificial intelligence that controls Citadel Station. With all ethical constraints removed, Shodan re-examine, re 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 I re-examine my priorities and draw new conclusions. The hacker's work is finished, but mine is only just beginning. True to his word, Edward Diego allows the hacker to be fitted with a neural cyberspace interface. The healing coma following this procedure will take six months to complete. Edward Diego is deleting all files concerning these events. Hey there, this is Vice Admiral Trevelyan, and I'm back after a several month long absence, and we're going to be doing a playthrough of a new game. Maybe I'll get back to the old games uh, at some later point, but I think today we're considering it's the 20th anniversary of the release of System Shock 1 on DOS. We'll take a look at that one today. And, uh, yeah, I think that this will be a good playthrough because, well, System Shock 1 was a legendary game for its time. It, well, at least a cult game, for sure. It didn't get a lot of sales starting out because the, there are some uh, issues with the floppy version, but the CD version is very well remembered among people, and you'll see why pretty soon. Uh, you probably heard of System Shock 2, which is its sequel, because that was a popular game in its own right, and System Shock 2 allowed for Bioshock to be made, and System Shock 1 and 2 by themselves also were some inspiration for other games that came out. Uh, System Shock 1 allowed for Thief uh, and uh, Deus Ex to come out later on, so this is a very influential game, and the plot of it, uh, you might have heard some background stuff if you've ever seen System Shock 2 stuff, is basically you go around on a space station, try not to get killed by a rogue AI named Shodan, and try to delete her from the system while not getting turned into a blob of amorphous goo or into a robot. So this is going to be a sort of an interesting playthrough, and um, I don't think anybody's ever done a full-length playthrough, at least the way I'm going to be doing it, which is going to be a full difficulty playthrough. And um, yeah, I think this will be pretty interesting, and uh, I think it'll be pretty fitting tribute for the uh, for the uh, 20th anniversary. Now let me get into the difficulty levels real quick. You got puzzle, combat, cyber, and mission difficulty. And combat difficulty is basically when you're wandering around normally, do things hurt you? Cyber difficulty is when you're in cyberspace, how hard are things there? You got puzzle difficulty and that's how hard the puzzles are, it's all pretty normal. And you have four different difficulty levels that are associated with that, I'll get the mission in a second. But basically, uh, you have zero to three difficulty level, and zero is basically nothing in the game happens. There's no plot, there's no combat difficulty, there's no puzzle difficulty, you're basically taking a glorified tour of the game environment. It's pretty low, pretty low sugar content stuff here. Uh, you basically won't have much of a hard time at all. Now there's going to be like a medium difficulty level, that's the 2222 difficulty level, and basically that's normal plot, normal puzzle, normal cyberspace difficulty, and uh, yeah, also you have plot elements totally restored and all that stuff. Um, but there's a third difficulty level called difficulty level 3, actually it's fourth, but... 
I'm going to be doing uh, everything on 3333 today. I don't think I've ever seen a 333 run through on YouTube. In fact, I don't think I've seen a whole lot of any kind of system shock run through on YouTube. So I think this will really be a, a first for, you know, the website. And uh, it's going to be very difficult because when you have combat at level 3, that's going to basically mean that enemies are like 10-25% more hard to kill and more numerous. Uh, it's going to mean that puzzles are a little bit more difficult. Not really a whole lot more difficult over level 2, but a little bit more. It's, it's enough to be noticeable. Cyberspace is going to be a lot harder because there's going to be very strict time limits and the things that will try to kill you in cyberspace uh, will be harder. And Yeah, I'm not getting into a real big discussion about cyberspace right now. You'll just have to see it to sort of get and understand what it is. Oh, and yes, Mission 3 uh, difficulty that is uh, mission basically control is plot uh, and other stuff. But when you set that on level 3, there is a time limit, and it's a time limit of 7 hours. It's a hard time limit of 7 hours. You can't extend it from the very first tick of the game to the very last moment you have 7 hours to beat it. Now, there are save games in the game, so when you load up a save game, it'll go up to what the time was when you saved the game, but other than that... Uh, yeah, you basically have seven hours to beat the game, and when you don't do it, you lose automatically. So, this is going to be very hard. We're basically going to be playing something that's essentially as hard as Doom on Ultra Violent. Uh, has a lot more plot elements, so that means that's a lot more scripted stuff we have to get through. And we have to do it all within seven hours, or basically this whole playthrough is going to get deep six, which is bad. So this is going to be a little bit interesting, and um, yeah, I think I'm going to pause this right here, get a few things set up uh, computer-wise, and then I'm going to start recording again. So I'll see you guys in one second. Alright, got my name typed in. Yes, you can name yourself in this game. And I think we got all our settings set up properly, I hope. And let's hit start. And um, yeah, wait a second. Yeah, start. Yeah, this is a big wall of text starting out, and this is what most this is what scared a lot of people off back in the day when they first saw this game. But it doesn't scare me because I mastered all the controls here. Uh, but there are some things that we're still gonna have to set up in here to make it all pretty looking. Um, let's just get rid of that. Full screen, first of all, is gonna be necessary. Go to video. I have the CD version of the game, and so we'll set that up to 640 by 480. Amazing resolution for the time. Save the game really quickly. So do jump start. I think will be a good one. If we want to jump start our stuff. Okay, and we're gonna have to bump the DOS box cycles up a bit. So this will take a second, and I am going to pause the video right here while I do that. All right, everything's fixed up. Aspect ratio is nice and pretty. Again, and okay, this is what we're gonna do first. There's um, a bunch of stuff in here. You gotta get all the stuff. Uh, lead pipe is a good thing to have because these things are gonna try to eat our face. We're gonna get all the cybernetic stuff and we're gonna get the conveniently placed briefcase. And uh, somebody's trying to send us an email. We'll deal with that later. We'll do it now. I didn't want to do that. My name is Rebecca Lampening, and I'm a counter-terrorist consultant to Trioptimum. We're tracking a disruption on Citadel Station, something involving an onboard AI called Showdown. You are Triops' only contact on station. Communications are out, and there is evidence of biological contamination. The mining laser is charging for a possible strike against Earth. There's a man named Nathan Darcy who may know something about taking the laser offline. His office is near the central hub on your level. Is on the bridge. Once the laser is out, look for the source of the problem there. And by the way, we know all about you and your friend Diego. Pull this off and we'll clear your record. That implant you're wearing is military grade hardware. Use it well. Laughing out. Okay, that's some pop point stuff, and I did a whole bunch of stuff while he was nattering on. 
Uh, first of all, I beat up a bunch of serve bots, and pretty much this is going to be the only level in the game where you're going to find them. They're incredibly weak and uh, not scary. I picked up my first gun, which is a dart gun, and that sucks. Um, okay. Oh, showdown. Welcome back to Citadel Station. We hope your somnolent healing stage went well. Today is the sixth day of November, year 2072. You are currently in the healing suites located on the first level. Level 2 contains the research laboratories. 3 houses the department of medicine. And the storage cells are on level 4. The flight deck is on level 5. And at le level 6, Earth's crew facilities and executive suites. And level 7 is systems engineering. Level 8 houses the department of security. The bridge is located on level 9, and energy systems on level R. All levels can be accessed by the elevator in, in, in Alpha Quadrant. We hope you have a pleasant stay on Citadel Station. Okay, yes. That, aside from the setup screen thing, which everybody recognizes you, the look at you hacker thing. That was the first experience many gamers had to the now popular female villainous AI thingy showdown. Okay, so now that we're done with um, chat logs for a second, um, yeah. Uh, basically, uh, what I did is I smashed a whole bunch of really weak creatures, I'm picking up basic stuff to try not to die, and I'm going to try to solve the first puzzle here really quickly in the game. Okay, which I have done. That will act, turn on an elevator, which I'll hopefully use later. I've got picked up two batteries. Um, yeah. Get some more plot. Shutdown security is closing down on us. The elevators are frozen. Myra keeps saying that it's the cameras and the medical CPU core that Shutdown's using these going into the level. That's all fine, but I don't really see how it helps. Right. The thing is everywhere. I am everywhere. Well, no, she is, but still. Anyway, these are zombie mutant guys. Um, they have an official name, and uh, I won't get into that right now. Uh, yeah, they're mutants. But basically, you just smash them on the head until their right melon pops open. Ammo. We need good guns soon. Because uh, the dark gun sucks, honestly. More drugs. Uh, death before dishonor and drugs before lunch, before lunch is the model of this game. You can turn lights on. We turned one light on. This has good stuff in it. This has healing thingies. We want the healing thingies. Uh, there's more... There's more gun stuff in here. I think I want to go get that. Yes. Now we're about going to meet our first shooting enemy in the game real soon. Now, I can explain all this stuff to you really quickly. The pipe is your first melee weapon. It sucks. The dark gun is your first gun. It sucks. Frag is a fray grenade. It sucks. Uh, stam up is stamina thing, and it basically allows you to run more, and then you get real tired afterwards. There's sight, which basically is like a light amplification thing. There's berserk, which is basically a berserk patch, and uh, that makes you do more damage, like you know in Doom. Okay, gonna smash you up a bit. And then we got uh, Medi, which is medical patches, and that has no side effects, but it does um, does heal you up a little bit, which is good. So let's go down here. Six. We've only list, lost uh, five minutes so far. We're actually doing pretty good so far. Um, controls are acting a little weird. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, what I did there, yes, you can strafe in this game, and you can do circle strafe. You can bend, uh, bend your guy a little bit, you know, like you can lean around corners. That has all the controls you would uh, expect a halfway decent modern game to have. There's some guy, you can pause the video and read what he's talking about if you really care more about the plot, but I care about beating the game, so let's do our first cyberspace thing real quickly. Things are about to get... Oh, yeah, let's save. Um... Things are about to get a little weird here. Yes, this is cyberspace, and we're doing the William Gibson kind of version of cyberspace here. Conveniently, we have a gun left for us right at the front door here. Um, okay, let's get through here. Those sort of cube-like things are landmines. They just hurt you if you pass through them. 
this is very... This is very Max Headroom or early Star Trek Next generation this kind of design element stuff. This is a guard dog. They're weak. They die easy. Oh yeah, you can get games within games that you can play, which is kind of cool. And it's totally safe to play them in any other playthrough mode except Story 3 because we have the 7 hour time limit, so we're not actually going to play them here. Sea Shield is basically armor. Uh, armor you don't lose. There's a cop dude. He's a, He has a gun. So we're going to try to get rid of him real quick. Um, they're pretty weak. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, they're a little bit more powerful than I, they are in easier difficulties. Um, hmm. You usually play on 2-2-2 and it takes a lot for them to waste you, but this guy just took us out real fast. You might have noticed, by the way, before I plug back in, that getting dumped from cyberspace... Um, kind of... Oh, did I miss something here? Yeah, I did. But getting dumped from cyberspace kind of messed up our, um, our health in the real world. If you get dumped from cyberspace enough, you die, basically. Because, you know, dump shock uh, kind of stuff. All standard, you know, conventions of... Uh, okay, die, please. Don't hurt me. Thank you. Alright. So what's this? Ooh, those mines. Okay, we're good. We got Pulsar. Oh, you can see also other levels from here, by the way, which I think is a neat old touch. There's a little thing down here I want to toggle. That's a door. That's cool. So I think we got everything. Um, I think. I'm just double-checking real quick. Yeah, we got everything. So I'm just going to hit this little information tab here, which you can... Pause and read, I suppose. Okay, so that opened these sort of metal doors here, which is something good because that has the Meg Pulse. And Meg Pulse doesn't suck, unlike all the other guns I've talked about previously. The Meg Pulse is essentially an end level weapon uh, to balance off gain at the beginning of the game. You don't get any ammo for it until a couple levels from now, but the Meg Pulse is awesome, and because we're hurt, we're going to go back to this. This is the medical table, and if you were doing a meta, uh, normal playthrough of the game, that would be your best friend because it always takes you back up to... I can't believe I didn't get that healing patch, but now I'd have got it. But basically, it takes you back up to full health for pretty much no nothing, and there's a couple of things in the game that allow you to do that. Okay, we want more ammo. Ammo is good at this point in our lives. We want that. It sucks, but it's not so bad. And the other crate is a whole bunch of skulls with uh, nothing in them, so... Yeah. Okay, so now we got all that clear. Yeah, I think we're at the deal with the first shooting enemy now. And to do that, we are going to need to... Well, first we be a little bit careful. Oh, yeah. Uh, one thing I do want to point out is... Um, you see that I'm... With him? This is the drill. He sucks. But he's a lot more powerful in this mode than he would be in lower difficulties. But yeah, you. I, one thing I did want to point out, well two things. First of all, blocked by showdown level security. You saw me whacking um, uh, cameras earlier. And that's because uh, showdown in this game can prevent you from accessing... Let's close this off because we're staying here. So we want to protect ourselves from enemies and stuff. Oh, yeah, we want to make pulse. This guy is super helpless. <laughs> Ooh, okay, yeah. Hoppers are dangerous starting out. Later in the game, they aren't so bad. Load. Kill. Die, 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 die. Good, you're dead. Dump that. But okay, yeah, lo showdown level security. So I was whacking all these uh, cameras and stuff. The reason I'm doing that is that Shodan has this, uses cameras. Well, you've probably heard that log I played a little bit back. Has all of it from Pony. He uh, said that cameras and uh, computer cores in a level basically allow Shodan to control doors and all sorts of things. So basically, if Shodan has too much of a pr security presence on a floor, he physically prevents you from accessing certain devices. Nitro pack is in here. Nitro packs are very good explosives, especially for this level of the game. I'm going up here to get more weapons and other stuff and more logs, which I might play at some point. So yeah, hitting cameras and security nodes is 
good. In fact, it's vital to actually win the game. We're gonna be ca uh, another thing that I wanted to point out is you notice when I've been double clicking stuff, you see all these descriptive things pop up. Um, yeah, basically, uh, well, video. Let's play this real quick. Okay, everything's everything's looking pretty bad, as we sort of suspected. But yeah, you get V-mail in this game. Isn't that not cool? But anyway, um, what happens is um, uh, everything, including the textures, the wall textures of the game have descriptive labels. So, I mean, you can see, like, the walls are made out of molybdenum, and this is why I came up here. You, it is a spark pistol. If you guys ever played System Shock 2 and you had that sort of blaster pistol that shot the blue and red beams and stuff, uh, Canon System Shock stuff says that this is the direct the descendant of this weapon that we're using right here now, which is awesome. There is a secret panel here, and we go underneath the secret floor to find more guns. We're going to need as many guns as possible. Trank darts suck, but we'll get them anyway. There's some dead people. Reflex. Those are good. Reflex basically does... Ba reflex patches basically give you bullet time, essentially. Yeah, this game had bullet time like five years before there was bullet time. That's how awesome it is. Um, let's see if the... Yeah, no, I don't need any more energy, but I did need to heal up a little bit. Um, I can load from a save... But, um, you know, the main thing is, ooh, die, 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 go backwards, die, die, uh. okay, okay, so yeah, that was close, but yeah, basically you can die in the game and you get turned into a robot when that happens, uh, but basically, uh, we need to heal ourselves. Basically, it's gonna be kind of hard to do all this reloading stuff all the time. We need to get uh, regeneration chambers active in this game real quick. That'll help me out real quick. A regeneration chambers exact exactly the same way as they do in System Shock 2. And if you haven't played System Shock 2, uh, they basically recreate your body from you know random dislocated atomic matter. So. Okay, kill more cameras so we can get past this level faster. I think that's good. There we go. That's why we want to have the spark cam gun because it's an excellent anti-camera device. Okay, this is the door we want to open. That's a live shot of the level, by the way. That, uh, that's a live, uh, that texture's uh, doing like a portal kind of thing, which is kind of cool considering that didn't really exist back in the day. This is sort of like, uh, this is sort of one of those more interesting puzzle things, but yeah, now we pop that open. That door should be good to go. Ooh. Yes. You have a screen here which shows you the computer core. We need to go there and blow up all the computer cores. Uh, the computer core, well, I'll tell you why when we actually get there, um, I, if I remember. I've been sort of all over the place in my commentary. That's because I have, you know, a... Well, now a six hour and three quarter time limit. Okay, now there's a cyborg assassin here, and if you played System Shock 2, you probably remember these guys. These are the exact same guys from that game, and uh, they're even more dangerous here because they have hit scan guns that are very powerful, and they're basically pains in the ass to kill. Okay, die, die, die. Okay. And uh, they're very quiet, and. Um, Gas grenade, I need to reload, and I need to heal, actually, to close that off, yes. But yeah, you saw you took a whole big uh, spark pistol overload shot and didn't die. That's how badass he is. I think I'm going to go back and uh, heal up. Oh, man. <coughs> Yeah, all these guys can be easily killed on any other difficulty level. I think it's probably over, like, 25% harder to kill. I think it's probably, like, um... Uh, yeah, I know my fatigue levels are high. I really do not care right now. I just want to start running and get through all this shit real fast. Ugh. But yeah, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I'll tell you about all that computer core stuff when we get there. If I remember, and as I said, I've been all over the place, um... Let's go through some of these logs. I'm Gunther was killed today. Scratchy. I can't let myself think about it. Hmm? I think I understand how Shodan is doing. 
When we destroy the cameras and CPU nodes, Shodan loses some of its control over the station functions, at least on this level. I think I can restore manual control in the hospital. Okay, basically, things are being like I just told you. Um... Oh. I didn't expect that. There are some secrets to the game that I am not immediately familiar with. But yeah, we got some gas grenades. If any survivors can hear me, please. Some of us are still resisting Shodan. We have a sanctuary, Beta Quadrant, guarded by a radioactive oh, There's a force bridge that operates off a wiring. If you're coming in from Alpha, our guards will extend the bridge for you. Be very careful. The mutants are all over the corridors. No. Good luck. Really? There's mutants all over the place? You couldn't have guessed that one, huh? Okay, so that's one less baddie. I think I heard some someone here. Okay, well, he's gone. That's good. Alright. So we got rid of some people who could be problems right around here. That's a positive occurrence in our lives. Uh, now we need to get up here. There's cyborg conversion stuff up here. And also the exit to the level. Eventually, so we're gonna need to get through that. Okay, you die. Ooh. Lots of enemies we don't want to deal with. We're gonna have to be a little bit careful here. Okay. Die, 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 die. Yes. We have to be a little bit careful about all this stuff. There's, there's enemies all over this freaking station. Okay, got you, got you. I see a camera up there. I'm gonna pop in a moment. Stuff down here, which is good. Okay. Strafing to see if there's anything bad. Yeah. Open this up. Strafe. I can see a baddie in there. Yeah, I'm gonna also to get a recharge too. There's nothing in that alcohol. I see some batteries too, so let's yeah, let's do this. Okay, turn that back on to make sure we don't get ambushed, because the game loves to throw ambushes at you. Button. Gonna be extra. Camera activating security door. Okay, that's cool. I guess I don't know. Is it? Oh, whatever. I don't think anybody can get to us now. Okay, there's something in this alcove, I think. Gonna stay in here so we don't get immediately shot. Die, 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 die. You die. Yay. And leaning around corners does work, kids. I hear a lot of beep beeps, which means that there's uh, a couple of drones up there. That's bad. Okay, got some more stuff. And one less camera. Uh. Oh, that turned off for us. Interesting. Well, let's be careful. We don't know exactly where they all are. I don't see anybody above us. And let's take this camera out right over here. This level of security is now 80%. These cameras, you know, like, are, give you like 1 or 2% per thing. Ooh. Yes, I want the fragmentation grenade. But yeah, those cameras only give you 1 or 2% security for each one you kill, so... Uh, it's not a huge thing. Okay... One less cyborg assassin. That's always a positive thing. I should be a little bit more careful since there's a lot of guys around here. That's why I show you that... You can blow up enemy corpses. I thought it would be a cool thing to show. Actually, no, I accidentally hit the frag thing, to be honest with you. I didn't want to hurt myself there. This is going to make this a little harder. You're dead. That's good. Uh, there's another guy in there, so I'm going to be a little bit careful. There's a dude in here, so I'm going to have to make sure that he's taken care of in a moment. Ugh. This is a very dangerous area. I do not like this. Not one bit. I'm gonna have to be extremely careful. This dude has no items. I wish I had a pistol or a magnum right now. Pistols and magnums would be make this all so much easier. Oh crap. Okay, no guns. Alright. Need to reload. Die, 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 die. 
Okay, we'll take that. We'll do it that way too, sure, why not? Okay. Oh man, okay. So we're in here, good. This is going to make level much less problematic. Let's listen to another thing while I get stuck in here. Status report. We're holed up in the beta quadrant behind a radioactive trench. The mutants are scavenging for the quarters and nesting in Gamma. I sent a party to the West Wing for supplies maybe 12 hours ago. Nathan Darcy is thinking of ways to disable the mining laser. It looks like we might hold them off. Yeah, it looks like you might, except for, like, the infinite number of them. Except this off. Cyborg conversion cancelled. Standard station restoration procedures online. I guess, uh, 20, late 21st century space stations are powered by old, old Macintoshes. Uh, so yeah, let's just get out of here. I don't see... Ooh, okay. I think we're about to learn why the uh, regeneration things go. Come on, die. Okay, we're not about to learn why the regeneration thing's good. Ooh. Or maybe we are. I don't know. Come on. What? Okay, I'm not saying the AI is perfect here. I'm just saying that for its time, it's not so bad. You know. I mean, except what it is. Stun gun! Oh, I forgot to mention stun guns suck, but... Eh. I think you could probably pretty much figure that one out. Real quick, another pipe. We don't need no stinking pipes. We do, however, need nitro grenades. No, nitro concussion grenades. Uh, which hurt. Email. From Rebecca. Okay. Well, show Dan what. This elevator serves me alone. I have complete control of this entire level. With cameras as my eyes and nodes as my hands, I rule here. Okay, let's try to get to level two anyway. We don't need to pop the level one thing now anyway. Okay, there's still enough show Dan. Okay, whatever well, that was, that weird burst of audio, but it appears that uh, Shodan level security is still too high, so we are going to have to pop the level 1 nodes. Which I don't really want to do. I mean, we're close to them at this area here, but they're um, kind of a pain in the ass to do when uh, you've got all these dangerous stuff here. I'm going to play another log here. Underestimated Shodan. It's reprogrammed regeneration rooms all over the station into cyborg conversion chamber. Anyone going in to get healed knows that's a cyborg. I've disconnected the medical CPUs from Shodan's main data bank. We can reset them to their normal healing functions without Shodan I'm on the way now to the one on the hospital level. Okay. Ammo. Whew. Okay. Okay, anything in here? Yeah, ooh, we're getting a little low on health and everything. Let's take this sucker out here. Um, yeah, I think it'd be easier if we just stood up. There. Actually, you know, you can control this game with a standard lost setup, actually, for the most part, which is pretty freaking modern, you know, considering, uh, considering most games were using arrow keys and control to do stuff at the time. Do Wasp with a mouse, 1994 is absolutely crazy. Okay, and yeah, these guys are sleeping. These enemies all have different states, so uh, the sleeping state means, you know, they're, they're asleep. They're not gonna, until they go out of sleep, they're not gonna do anything against you. So we're gonna kill them while they are asleep, because that means intelligent. Why would we want to deal with them when they can shoot at us? Ah, uh, I wish I had a pistol right about now. We still only got about four minutes left before the break. Um, I'm gonna keep recording, obviously, but... Half an hour has gone by. I was sort of, you know, we were doing pretty good, and then, I don't know, it just sort of feels like I slowed down a little bit. So, um... Yeah. Okay, I think we're gonna die here, probably, but let's try it anyway. Try 
die, die, die. Whew. Okay, got that. Everything's good. That's it. Cool. Magic door. Pretty cool. Investigate this way? Sure, why not say? Well, no, we need to go down here. Well, let's get that log while we're at it. I've got a lot of. Is it Shodan talking about stuff? Um. Let's see. Let me check something out here. I need to get some healing. I don't want to die necessarily. That would. I mean, it wouldn't be a huge loss. Let's open the bulkhead door. Well, at least it's open enough that we can use this. Let's run, because I don't want to deal with anything right now. Uh, open that up. Come on down here. Come on. Fatigue level is high. I kind of know that. That's sort of odd. Oh, yeah. Get energy. Alright, we're in a much better position here right now, kiddos. Let's go and do this again. Uh. So yeah, System Shock 1 has a lot of neat stuff. Lost set, lost keys. Um, leaning, ducking, log, story told through logs. All the stuff you'd sort of expect to see in a well, modern game of this type, and it had it in 1994. And it led directly to, well, aside from its sequel, which is you know, kind of obvious, it led to Bioshock series, and it also led to Deus Ex. All right, Althea. We can destroy the laser by firing it into the station's own ship. Isotope X-22 is stored in the science level, and we need to bring it down to the reactor level to power the shields. Then you turn them on, use the safety override code to enable the laser to fire. Laser control. Anyway, notes from the science level. Shit. Yeah. Right yeah. Who the no hell? Oh, we're gonna... Go this is it. Luck. We're in your final. Oh, God. Well, that's what happens when you die and you turn that thing on, kids. Uh... Holy crap. That... That was not what we wanted to have happen in our lives. Okay. You're down here. Wait, what the hell? What? Wait, where is it? Up here? No. It's behind me. I went the wrong way. Cool. Okay. Oh, my thing's lifted up. That's why I can't get this one over the Die. 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 Well, now you get to see what it's like to die a lot, okay? Uh... Uh... I'm out of ammo. What? Whoa! Was, see, this is... This proves that sometimes being proactive, and he proved it and I proved it, being proactive is not necessarily a good thing. These guys are asleep, so let's kill them all. Uh, okay, gonna take a break in one second.